Hello everyone. In the chapter of control and coordination, we have learned about animals as well as plants. We have seen how the nervous system in animals work and how the endocrine system complements the transmission of messages across an animal body. Let's move on to the in-text questions in this chapter. How does our body respond when adrenaline is secreted into the blood? There is a short and a long way to answer this question depending on the marks allotted to it. An easy trick to remember while solving questions with hormones is that the name of the hormones are related to the glands that secrete them. Adrenaline only matches with one gland, the adrenal gland. Adrenaline is secreted from the adrenal gland to trigger the fight or flight response. Here is the adrenal gland located near the kidney. This is enough for a one-line answer, but the mechanism of adrenaline in the body is a little more elaborate. It does trigger a fight-or-flight response, but for a longer answer, we must trace its path from when it was secreted. It is secreted into the blood and carried to the heart. Since hormones can diffuse, adrenaline diffuses into the bloodstream and even the heart, which is its target tissue. The heart beats faster, resulting in supply of more oxygen to the muscles. This is the body making our muscles alert. Arteries in the digestive system contract and blood is diverted to the skeletal muscles. Thus, the muscles are prioritized over the digestive system. The digestive system cannot react to an emergency, but our muscles are important for it. The breathing rate increases because of the contraction of the diaphragm and the rib muscles. This ensures that our body does not get tired out too soon. So this is the response of our body to adrenaline. It triggers a fight or flight response which ensures that the body is prepared for an emergency. Thank you and I hope you've gained something from it.